which is that Oprah Winfrey went out there in September and, and proudly said, look, I'm, I'm losing all this weight the hard way, the hard yards way. This, I, I want to touch those drugs. That's not for me. You shouldn't do that. And now it turns out that as she was saying that, she was taking these drugs. Yeah, I, I'm very disturbed about this for a lot of reasons, Piers. First of all, back in 1988, she supposedly lost 67 pounds with dietary change and exercise. As you've already said, she had the body positivity movement. She was a big leader in that that said, accept people as you are. Now she's out talking about uh, the, the shaming got to me, the fat shaming got to me. Well, what about for people out there that don't? that it didn't get to, that already listened to her before and said they're going to accept themselves as they are. Now she says this pill is a redemption. What is it, a spiritual or a religious pill? Instead of going to church or synagogue, you take this pill and you're redeemed. She's also talking about being on it as a maintenance drug. Well, I'm a physician who prescribes this. I don't like the word maintenance. How long is she going to stay on it? These drugs have side effects. There was 3,000 calls to poison centers in the United States last year from people who didn't know how to dose it properly because mm. it comes in a very set dose. One more thing, there's a huge run on this drug. It's not stigmatized anymore. So if she thinks she's coming out as a celebrity to beat the stigma, it's not stigmatized. There's a huge run on it and diabetics can't get it. Mm. Yeah, man. I love Oprah. Everyone loves Oprah. It doesn't matter whether you're black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone loves Oprah. She's gone through many challenges in her life. Many, many challenges. And these challenges are well documented. But for her to come out and say she's been taking a drug that she was opposed to just a few years ago, it's absolutely insane. You have legions of followers. Legions of followers, you're always encouraging them to fight for what you want. Put in the hard work. Be strong. Don't be lazy. All of this stuff, all of this positive thinking. And yet we later find out that she's been taking this drug. She's, she's been cheating. She was opposed to cheating and now she's cheating herself. Now, what kind of craziness is that? I for one do not condone that at all. Stigma. It's not stigmatized. There's a huge run on it and diabetics can't get it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a hugely important part of this. All right, Ernest Owens, here's the problem. I, I've known Oprah a long time. She did the first interview uh, when I, I, I launched a show at CNN, and she was very gracious to me in that and very open. But she prides herself always on being completely honest, not least with her fans. And whether you like her or not or support her or not, she's been here clearly dishonest to her fans, hasn't she? No, I don't think so. I think she's evolved on the issue. And if you actually read that interview and really thought about how she came to a place of how she wanted to choose this decision, it's up to her. It's her body. It's her choice. I find it quite interesting that a bunch of men are debating on whether or not she's authentic as a black woman on how she chooses to treat her body. What's it going to do mean, with I her skin color? Person, out of interest. Well, Who no, I'm their saying skin color? For, 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 I, I did. I mean, you, you've mentioned other skin colors before. What's it going to um, do with the skin other color? Programs. Sorry, I don't... I'm stating that it's Sorry, interesting. Sorry, you, you've thrown me there. I, we're talking about weight loss. We're talking about people's skin colors. Okay, but you're also talking... But have you ever talked about men's weight loss on this show, Piers? Yes. Who? Me. <laughs> you. Uh, me. You and know... so what was... Well, why, why did he bring in the race factor? I guess the argument he may be trying to make is the fact that Oprah is a, is a, is a black woman and black women within the media sometimes get it harder than their white counterparts. That's an argument, guys. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying I'm, I agree with it, but that's an argument. I'm not entirely sure why he brought up her race. But maybe it's because of that. Oprah is a, is a powerful black woman and black women tend to get it a bit hard for our society. There are negative stereotypes associated with black women. But in this particular case, man, I, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Oprah has transcended. Most people don't often see her as a black woman. She has transcended race at this point. The, the woman is a billionaire. She has her own channel. She has her own buildings. She has her own institute. She is an institution. So I wouldn't even bring race into this, in, into this whole conversation. The fact of the matter is, Oprah has always been banging on about doing the work, being strong, not cheating, all of that stuff. And now, what do we have here? She's taking bloody pills to lose weight. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can't be promoting something one day and then doing something the opposite the next day. That's the conversation here. Yeah. Uh, 
Me. You and know, so what was your decision? What was your weight loss journey about? Uh, what I didn't do is lie to the public. I said, you know what? Here's how you lose weight. You put less stuff in your gob. You eat less, you drink less, you exercise a bit more, you'll lose weight. Or you Good can go on, you. A, or you can go on you, a Zempic, which is that's a cheat, it. which is and a cheat it. used by diabetics, well, in, and it will work. Right. Right. But as the, the doctor said, States, we don't know the, the side the effects, United blah, blah, blah. The point is, Oprah lied, Oprah and lied to her fans. She what she does with her body. Yeah, but Ernest, she lied. That's Again. the point. Well, but it, I don't. It, I don't consider her lying. I think I, that she's I'd evolved like on the issue, and I think the reality is you should hold grace for people who evolve on their thinking of the matter. She expresses that she's given herself a little bit more grace, that she's being more kind to herself. That we have to be realize that we're in a society where high-profile celebrities, specifically women, are oftentimes in a society where they feel like they have to do all types of things to their bodies in order to feel how they feel. I think Oprah made the decision that works for her. All right. I think what Pierce is trying to argue is that Oprah is a bit disingenuous. Like, I understand what, what this guy is trying to say. Back in the days, she believed in the hard work. She believed in, in doing everything natural. Now she's changed her mind. There's nothing wrong with that. We are human beings. We're constantly evolving. Mentally, we're constantly evolving all the time. So I understand that. But the thing is, Oprah should have came forward immediately when she started taking this drug. She should have been like, guys. I know back in the days I was saying, I believe in doing things naturally. I believe in the hard work. I'm now taking a drug because I've evolved my thinking. I believe that there's nothing wrong with taking this drug. She should have done that. She should have done that because she has legions of fans, legions of followers who believe her every word. They look upon her as some kind of God. She could have had the common decency to express to her fans, her legions of followers who buy her books, who watch her shows. She should have expressed to them. Because if you're not going to do the hard work, why should they? Very disingenuous, very hypocritical. Bodies in order to feel how they feel. I think Oprah made the decision that works for her. All right. That's her choice. That's her agency, and we should respect well, uh, All right, Dr. Siegel. Pierce, yeah, I want to sh jump in here because I noticed, first of all, I respect Ernest a lot, but I noticed he didn't mention the word physician once in there. Let's remember, this is a prescription drug. It isn't that that even Oprah doesn't get to decide. A physician has to prescribe this. And unfortunately, there's way too, way too many ways you can get this on telemedicine without a real physician. And doctors have to discern. And I'm telling you, there's a tremendous shortage here. So when a celebrity like her, who's got a huge following, huge following, comes out like this late in the game, not early in the game, puts even more pressure on the situation where I can't use the drug for people who need it the most. That's my issue. I completely agree. That, that is a we very serious issue. We don't know all the details. We don't know all the details of Oprah's health. And at the end of the day, she's a very smart woman. She's a very wealthy woman. And she has the resources to inform herself on her own personal If you're not diabetic, you should not be taking that drug. You should not be taking that drug. You're taking drugs specifically designed for people who have medical issues within their entire body. Diabetes is a serious condition. If you're taking it strictly to lose weight, what the bloody hell is wrong with you? What the bloody hell is wrong with you guys? I'm sorry, let, let me calm down, but what the hell? Oprah built her bloody institution off positive thinking and putting in the hard work. And now we find out that she's been, been doing this behind the scenes. Wealthy woman, and she has the resources to inform herself on her own personal choices with her body. And so I think that it will be intellectually dishonest to act as though she's just roguely getting this, you know, drug and not thinking about all the precautions and measures. I think she's I, a lot You know what I think, Ernest? I admire your efforts to try and defend her, uh, but I think you're defending the indefensible. The truth is she lost so much weight. I know Sharon Osbourne very well, a great friend of mine. She talked recently about how she lost way too much weight with a Zempic and is now desperately trying to put it back on. That's a problem for a lot of people I've seen, right? And Sharon's and been very Sharon's open about body. that. That's but here's her the thing, body. Oprah, that's, Oprah's lost so Oprah's much body. weight so far, she couldn't keep lying that she was doing it the hard way by yomping and hiking in the hills. She wasn't. She was taking a drug that stops you having an appetite. She stopped eating because she was taking a Zempic. That's the truth. And as the Dr. Siegel said, with, with so many people now following her, they're all going to go out and want to do this because they think, wow, it worked for Oprah. But it's going to work shaming, for me. But, but, but shaming... But but using a profile and a platform like this to shame her speaks into the same reason why a lot of people do not disclose how they go through their weight loss journey. 
And that's actually fueling how about honestly? to the point that Oprah was making. Yeah, but Ernest, how about doing it honestly? I mean, Dr. Siegel, I think, I mean, Oprah well, Winfrey. What is the, what is the, hang on. How do you get to define how a person can honestly lose weight? Uh, Who no, are you no, to say uh, that? No, no. He's a, he's a journalist. He's talking about it. He's not shaming her. He's not humiliating her. He's simply talking about it. This, this should be talked about. Oprah Winfrey is not a public figure. She's a public figure. Naturally, people are going to talk about this stuff. This is a shame. No one is pointing the finger and laughing. What's he on about? If you're a public figure and, and people look upon you as, as a leader, people are literally listening to you. You're advising people and people are taking on that advice and using it in their everyday lives. We have a right to know what is really going on behind the scenes.